You're listening to Metal Attack MTL with Double D here on MetalMessiahRadio.com. All right, this is Metal Attack MTL. I'm joined by Paul, drummer from Cannibal Corpse, is in town today, um, judging the Heavy MTL Battle of the Bands. And the same week, uh, where another extreme judge has been on TV, um, Howard Stern, and then now there's, we got Paul here in Montreal doing uh, All right. Battle of the Bands. Great so, beer. Okay, Paul, um, I'm going to ask you this question right away. I was going to save it till later, but everybody wants to know. They're asking me about uh, Ace Ventura. You're, right. uh, you guys yeah. were in the film. Right. Playing Hammer Smash Face yep. in that scene. Um, yep. Okay, so um, I heard a few rumors uh, about like, how this came to be and this and that. Let's uh, hear the true story. Well, um, the rumors you probably heard are uh, probably the correct ones, that uh, Jim was a fan of um, Cannibal Corpse and uh, was a fan of death metal. And uh, basically that's how we got to be in the movie. Um, you know, We got a call from Metal Blade Records, our record label, that they got a call from, from Jim Carrey or his people, I guess, and he wanted us to be in his new movie he's making. So... Uh, you know, we were, of course, a little bit, uh, you know, in shock over that. You know, we'd never been in a movie, and uh, you know, why Jim Carrey would be interested in our band was uh, was pretty cool. But you know, of course, we accepted. We, uh, uh, you know, figured why not? You know, as long as they don't portray us as anything silly or anything like that, then you know, we felt that it would have been a good, uh, be a good experience. But uh, yeah, we flew down to Miami. Um, they were filming, and we stayed there for four days. But you know, it was Jim and the director that really wanted us to be there. So I remember when we first showed up to the set and uh, we met Jim and the director, Tom. Um, you know, they were both very excited that we were there and, you know, and, and we were probably more excited, you know, because here we are in a movie set, you know, and in front of Jim Carrey and he's, you know, excited that we're there and we're just, well, there's Jim Carrey, you know, what the hell. Um, but uh, he started rattling off some song lyrics and wanting us, you know, telling us he wanted to do Hammer Smash Face and Rancid Amputation wow. and all that. <laughs> and, you know, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was all just because he was, uh, you know, he was, he was into it. So, uh, you know, I, I guess the, you know, the, the main thing now is uh, we always wonder uh, 20 years later or whatever, is he still into the band? Because we never had any follow-up. Um, with him, you know, this was pre, of course, internet and cell phones and all that kind of stuff and email, so we never uh, had any contact and, uh, you know, we've always wondered, you know, is he still into it? Did, uh, you know, was it a fad for him? I mean, does he think back now? It, uh, you know, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh, you know, so uh, I kind of always wonder what he's thinking at this day and age, but uh, but I do know for a fact, like I said, back when he, uh, you know, we did the movie, he was into into Cannibal, thought we were intriguing and, and interesting, and that's how we got to be in the movie. So, so there was, a, uh, I heard, um, there was more footage of the, right. the scene when you guys were playing in there, right. and um, it was shown on a TV version. Right. How come it's not, on, do you know anything about that? How come it yeah. hasn't been released? You know, I don't know why it hasn't been released, of course. You know, that's all up to these movie companies. I, I don't know why that footage gets ends up on the cutting room floor kind of a thing. So I, when you watch the version that you're talking about that was on the network television version in the States, they added all these scenes that didn't make the movie exactly you know and and one of our the scenes was when jim jumps on stage and you know he ends up singing with us and all that and that wasn't on the theatrical version and i think it's a funny scene you know and uh you know uh, the fans and the people that have seen it think it's funny too you know so who knows why companies don't do that you know i mean so uh unfortunately it you know may never get released but you're just going to have to check it out on whenever it's on network television um you know try to check it out and they should be playing that uh, that extra scene that we're in so. and uh, you guys were only around for that was like um you guys were around about six years at the time yeah. you guys started out in uh, 19 1988 right right december of 88 yeah and then uh, now it's um you guys are just put out album number 12, yes. Torture. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, I know. Back then, did you ever, uh, you know, figure you'd, you'd be all this long and this successful? Of course not, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're going day by day, and I, we still are. But back then, it was all about just getting together with your friends, you know, playing music that you love to play. And, you know, that's that's really it. You're thinking of the, the immediate. Um, we were never looking ahead going, yeah, we're going to be in a band and we're going to, you know, we, we're going to tour the world and we're going to do, do all these things. It was like, no, that was, th those were, seemed out of, you know, almost impossible for us to achieve that. So it, we were just thinking, like I said, the, the next day, writing the next song, you know, trying to get gigs locally and, you know, making a demo tape and stuff like that, you know. So fortunately we were able to, uh, you know, uh, the band was able to move on and we got signed fairly quick and all that, but, uh, 
you know, we, we it was just it still is like I said day by day, and it and it, and it you know that's how it that's how we uh, you know been uh, dealing with cannibals since the since the beginning, you know. So uh, yeah, we would have never thought we'd be here, you know, 24 years later, 12 CDs, and you know the things we've done uh, touring wise and all that. I mean, just it's remarkable, really. So, so from like uh, your first album to like. Uh your last one, Torture, which was just released. Right. Um, you guys have been writing together for a long time. Uh, has the, your writing process like uh, changed, or how has it has it evolved over these years? Well, like? yeah, it's definitely changed and evolved. I mean, when you think back and you look back, I mean, we were kids when we started, and you know, everybody should evolve as a human, I guess, as a person. You you mature, you get wiser, you gain more experience, all that kind of thing. You want to better yourself in in you know in any way possible, you know. And of course, in our for us, it's you know getting better at our instruments and all that kind of stuff, but. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, when I look back at the way, of course, the way the songwriting started, it was always a, it was more of a band effort. You know, the first three albums were written that way. You know, who's got a riff? Uh, uh, that, you know, all right, let's put them together. Okay, well, who's got something else? All right, that's how songs were pretty much written on the first three records. Um, and then around the bleeding time, I think is, I, I really look at that as a, as a good big turning point for Cannibal, where, uh, you know, we started to kind of sound a little bit more like modern Cannibal, I guess, you know, at, at that time. And, uh, and we started writing a little bit different. That's the first album where we uh, actually had, uh, say, Alex wrote a song by himself, the whole song, you know. And I'll remember it was uh, Fucked With A Knife when he, you know, he came on, came in and said, you know, hey, I guess I just want to write a song by myself, you know. And, uh, yeah, no, go for it, no problem. So that was the song he wrote. He wrote Fucked With A Knife. And, uh, you know, not, I don't think the whole album was written that way, but it was the start, you know, because now when we fast forward to, you know, to torture and to the way we've been writing in the last, you know, seven, eight, ten years, it's pretty much that way. It's more of an individual kind of a thing. Yeah, Alex is home writing his songs, you know, Rob's at his house writing, you know, Pat's doing the same thing, and then, you know, they'll get together with me or what have you, and then we'll work the song, but... You know, our day of actually, uh, you know, just being up at the practice room and jamming together and coming up with, you know, riffs or whatever are, are pretty much long gone. So, um, so is it more like now you're just sitting around and like you're watching a movie and then you're like, oh, my God, I, I thought of a whole song right there. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I think when we start writing, because obviously they're the songwriters, Alex, Rob and Pat are the, are, are the you know, the main songwriters. So. You know, I know when they when they're ready to go, they're they're ready to work. You know, that's another thing. We've been around long enough and been doing it long enough. When 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 we got to get something done, you know, we put our minds to it and it gets done. So the the writing process change has changed, but I don't think the men, the mentality that we have has changed. You know, we we feel that we're the same people that started this band, you know, 20 plus years ago, and uh, you know, we feel that we're just uh, wanting, uh, you know, to write killer death metal, you know, Cannibal Corpse style death metal, and I think we've uh, we've uh, uh, achieved that and kind of maintained our, our sound, though things have changed in the writing process and all that, and maybe we're, you know, getting better at our instruments, but, you know, I, I do believe when you listen to all our CDs from Eaton to Torture, they're different, yet they are the same, yes, it is Cannibal Corpse, I think you can, you know, you can pick that out, so... Do you find like your tour schedule has gotten like uh, rougher though since like over the years since you know the uh, the internet and the decline of record sales and well I mean I think we're just we're touring more I mean because we, you know and our, for us of course the record sales are going opposite we're selling more records than we ever have um, and uh, that's giving us probably more demand you know we're 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 playing more places we're doing more tours and all that more so than we ever have uh, you know since probably kill came out or right around that time you know so yeah the tours are coming a little uh, more than they've ever have been which is good but uh you know uh, you know it could take its toll on the body a little bit quicker having more tours of course so um i just heard to you had um some uh, back problems um was that anything related to um um, it's related to getting older. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, when we did the old, uh, you know, filming for the for the torture, you know, of the whole studio thing, I tweaked my back uh, during the the one day of of, of recording, and uh, you know, I've, I've done it before. I've tweaked my back, but usually it's just something, you know, unrelated to drumming. You know, I mean, I got my issues where I got, uh, you know, some maybe some. Uh, arthritis going in my my elbow and my arm and all that and you know you get your aches and pains and muscles and all this but 
I've never really had a problem by, with playing and something like that occurring, you know. So I think that just happened to be a coincidence that I, you know, happened to, it happened then because it's it hasn't happened since. Knock on wood, wherever there's wood. And uh, <laughs> there you go. And, uh, that was plastic. Uh, yeah, and hopefully it won't happen again. And it had, like I said, it hasn't. And it it's uh, just it just so go figure. We had it on uh, on camera to be able to document that, but. Uh, you know, but I think that's just a part of, of getting older. You know, the body starts falling apart a little bit quicker, you know, and, and you don't have to do much to, to get an injury, you know. <laughs> I mean, usually they're, they're occurring for, for some, you know, a stupid reason like that. Yeah, you bend over the wrong way, you pull your back, or, you know, you, <laughs> you cough or you sneeze and you're, you know, throwing your back out. So, so it's, just, uh, just, it's just life, I guess, you know. Well, you just finished um, uh, Leg of Tours right now in the U.S. for uh, torture. Right. Um, and uh, like so far, how has the fans uh, been like um, liking the new stuff? You said uh, that uh, you know things have go- gone uh, just the complete opposite, you know, right. in terms of record sales. Right, so right, right. like, uh, yeah, how was it out there? Yeah, it's been going great. I mean, you know, we just uh, did the first tour for the album being out because we went, we were in Europe in February, and 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 we that was prior to the album coming out. We did play Demented Aggression and Scourge of Iron for that, so those two songs were the ones that. Uh, were streamed online, so the the fans already they knew the they words knew those two songs. <laughs> they were into them. But when we finally did the U.S. tour, you know the album's out now. We play, you know, we're playing six songs off the new record. You know, that's half the half of it. So that's how how strong we felt about these songs. But then that's exactly what we were getting from the the reaction from the fans, like reading online and getting, you know, they want us to play these songs. I mean, yeah, look at the the record sales indicate, you know, that a lot of people bought the record, and uh, you know, we feel it's a very strong record and we're getting great uh, reviews and the fans are really enjoying it so to us it's you know we have to be playing you know as many songs as we can off the new record so yeah so it went it went great you know it's going over well we're great I can't wait to you know to you know to keep the touring going here and, and get more of these reactions from these from these new songs because you know we're having a, a lot of fun playing them and I think the fans are having a lot of fun listening to them I heard uh, an older in, uh, a past interview you did uh, you were talking about uh like the way gore and like zombies and you know all that's being like more accepted these days. Now, do you think um, if, like uh, if you guys were just like starting out today and uh, you put out like album covers like uh, right. Butcher That Birth uh, right. these days, do you think uh, you would have faced the same kind of controversy uh, today as you did back then? Probably not. You know, uh, it seems almost like well, it's been done. You know, I mean, <laughs> is somebody gonna you know walk in today and see the shirt unless they've never seen it or they're not into metal or whatever? You know, then it's it's. It, you're gonna, yeah, it's been done. You know, that's that's old news now. You know? It's still brutal, I think. You know, I think it's that. pretty brutal. I think it's still brutal. Regardless, <laughs> it's still brutal. I think Tomb and, and Butchered are arguably the most brutal pieces of art. I even have, I, I still have a hard time looking at some of your album yeah. covers. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, but I think overall, though, you know, it's not new anymore. You know, I mean, we're talking a, a, a style of music now that's been around for you know quarter century or what have you. You know, it's not new. You know, so it's 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 not gonna have maybe that full same impact as it as it did you know back when it when it was fresh and of course new so um, you know but but you never know I mean you never know we could if we were formed today put out butchered at birth it, maybe you know maybe it still would have this similar effect just in the nature of the artwork you know I mean you know so it's a good question but I don't know if we'll, we'll ever know the answer fully you know I, mean, I can imagine you're uh you know, a rock and roll fan like anybody else. Right. Today happens to be the anniversary of uh, the death of Ronnie James Dio. Oh, was it today? Oh, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, two years ago. Wow, so, wow. Um, so how he could, was yeah. he, uh, how much of an influence was he on uh, your, uh, yourself? I, I mean, his huge, music. Oh, huge influence. I mean, I love Dio and I loved uh, Sabbath with Dio, you know, and I grew up in that era, you know, I mean, uh, when I started getting into music, I'm getting into Sabbath with Dio, you know. I mean, uh, I knew, of course, of the old Sabbath and all this, but uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm growing with this band, and I'm, I, you know, and I'm loving Ronnie James Dio, you know, and then following his career, of course, after the fact, you know, when he was out of Sabbath, and I remember seeing, seeing him on the Holy Diver tour, you know, in Buffalo, a Y&T opening, a small little place in Buffalo, New York, you know, I mean, seeing that Holy Diver tour, I mean, incredible, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's such a, 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 a big metal legend that he is so influential and on, on so many pe- to so many people, and of course I'm one of them big time, so yeah, it's unfortunate that he, that he had to pass, and uh, 
Oh, yeah, uh, it, it, yeah it's, a, it's a tragedy. It's a metal tragedy. But uh, you know, all we can do now is, you know, is remember him and, and exactly, uh, you know, the the good things that uh, came from him being, you know, in this world. You know, and uh, yeah, he was a huge influence for me.